So let's talk about Dia. All time high is down 60%. And actually it's been trending right now. And I'm wondering why. So if you're new to this content, be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already, because we do have some awesome updates for you guys. There is gonna be some more content that I wanna show you. Right now, I feel like the biggest problem with Dia is what exactly does it solve? And when you go here, it's listed on Binance already, which saw a huge price pump. So that was good news. Um, but when you look at the long-term aspect, and that's what I'm really considering is can Dia outperform every single other crypto? So that's the big question of maybe, hopefully, yeah. I definitely hope so. Um, there definitely seems to be ton of opportunities for, for cryptos right now. And Dia seems to be really one of them. So that is the good news. But Dia, look at this. It's as about 18 million volume. And what it does, if we look here, there's actually some articles, is an open source Oracle platform that enables market factors to source, supply, and share trustable data. Now, I think the concept is cool, right? But what makes me think it's a governance token on the platform is in the bear market, how many people are interested in that, these type of projects? So that's the big question of, are they interested, you know? And DIA aims to be an ecosystem for open financial data and financial smart contract system. So smart contracts are huge to bring together data analysts, data providers, and data users. In general, DIA provides a reliable and verifiable bridge between off-chain data from various sources and on-chain smart contracts that we use to build a variety of financial D apps. So basically they're building financial apps. The issue is, from what I know, is it most likely got listed by Binance around this time when it was $5. And now it's about 35 cents and it's growing back up again slowly. And it saw a bigger dip by, by the sell-off from Wales. So I definitely do think that Dia right now could be seeing more price bumps if the whales stop selling. Now, the biggest issue is, can this survive a bear market? This I'm not too sure. So definitely make your own research. But just a quick announcement, this token is trending and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Um, and it has seen the dips. Uh, I, I don't know if it can recover. I honestly don't know too much about smart contracts, but seemingly... <clears throat> It's about 94% down from all-time high, but about on the number 500 spot on the market cap, which is awesome. That's pretty cool. So that's the good news about it. But if you guys want to be kept more up to date with content like this, you know what to do. Smash that like button and I will keep you guys updated. But until next time, Peace, everyone. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another video. And this time we're going to be talking about Say. So Say has been the one that's actually been seeing a lot of bull runs and they actually have their own network. So if you guys want to be kept up to date with more content like this, they have posted some amazing updates and I'm going to be talking what exactly it is. So layer one blockchains, they're the big thing in crypto right now. While they might not might be a smaller thing with crypto in the future, definitely right now is a big factor of crypto gaming, basically blockchains being the big, big thing right now. And there have been a lot of rumors with Say. So I'm going to fully delve deep into what exactly that means. What I'm seeing right now with Say is um, it's definitely really fast, you know, and the developers have been working hard. Here's where Say has one big problem. While its price did increase, its bull run market still has not recovered in a sense yet. So that's the big problem right now. We still haven't seen all that recovery we were hoping for just yet, but it ain't that bad at all. Um, I'm not that worried for say because it also got more listings. Strategic advancement positioning its unique player in the world of layer one blockchain. So it's trying to be the fastest. It's not trying to be the best. This is what I like about it. Um, and I do think there is a ton of potential for this one. Why? Because, well, basically, a lot of crypto holders are here staying for the long run. And here's where Say really does win is basically proving to these holders that it can survive these bear markets. Now, what I mean by that is with Say2, it has taken a monumental step forward, reflecting a deep understanding of the current needs and future directions. 
Um, so quarter four was a massive for Sane Network with the launch of their V2 upgrade. I think that's why the prices really went up. So you can actually see here the prices did go up because um, people started talking more about, well, its utilities. Quarter four was a massive quarter for Sane Network and it showed exactly that. So that to me is, is simply insane. Like um, now the importance here is paralyzing the EFM. So I guess the metaverse networks, new article is now released. Say V2 will say claim the title of the first paralyzed EFM blockchain. So that's what they're trying to go for. They're trying to go for this niche. I, I feel like a lot of people who are reading these articles, they don't really know what this means. Um, so it should be more commonly known and, and, and told so. Because right now, I think the biggest issue is also people just don't know what's happening in crypto. And guess what? They're not going to be talking about, you know, cryptos in general. So that being said, um, I do feel like there is going to be some strong potential seeing Say's growth. I bet Ethereum D app, Uni Avi Maker will not integrate Say blockchain because they got stronger support from ARB OP base. There's no need to think much of Ethereum right now. So sometimes it's trying to overcome the Ethereum. The Say ecosystem is growing. So our Say account program, Say Foundation is on lookout for visionary founders ready to shape the future of crypto. So it seems like they're expanding and having more of basically projects on the blockchain network. It's another competitor. Now, I don't know how it will compete to Caspa, but the utility is there. You can actually see it. Say in 2023, building the fastest layer one. And I did predict the biggest thing about cryptos is what cryptos are going to be basically the strongest factor of 2024. And this is where I'm excited for. There is a lot of potential to see, say, this massive bull run, just as we want it, just as we saw it for a long time. And, and that's pretty cool news. If you ask me, we've been waiting this for such a long, long time. I've been, you know, really, really excited about that as well. So that is one awesome thing everybody was waiting for. But say, does it have potential? For sure. Now, the only question is, if the team can continue building these awesome products, 2024 will be a year for it to make significant advancements in business along with the knowledge of progress. Ugh, my, my accent is so heavy right now today. But it does seem like say is going to be expanding in, in South Asian markets. So to me, that's a great, great possibility to see like all these future price hike, all these future um, developments, just as we wanted to see them. Like, I, I feel like everybody loves to see a success story and, and say is definitely proving to be that. So that being said, um, in my opinion, definitely a ton of potential. I'm keeping my eyes on this one. Maybe it can even compare to tokens like Caspa in that sense. So I will keep you guys more on the news and more in the loop with that one because there is, does seem to be many probable scenarios of, of where it could go. Like that's the awesome stuff. We're excited to our, average our research strengths in collaborative effort, let's say. Now, should you sell your house? I'm not sure. There's many cryptos, you know, some worse, some better um, than say, but it does have... It is expanding right now. And this expansion could either be a burn in bridge, just like with other blockchain layer one tokens that we're told, you know, they're going to take over. Or it could be one of those bigger projects that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. So layer one blockchains are definitely one of the bigger factors of 2024, especially with Caspa. Look at Caspa's growth. People are going to be flocking into other altcoins, but I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace out. Welcome back to my crypto journey. And today we're going to be exploring crypto. Um, 2023 was a year for say basically to develop and it was a brutal market. And this year is actually its expansion year. So say uh, release this. They just, that's just what said, okay, let's go ahead and reveal our plan, I guess. Also to our competitors, which is very, very um, brave. I, I like that. But same team, not only research, but also ex existing the expansion team of Saint Korea. And also what they launched is uh, actual update for uh, the, the blockchain, the startups. So just like Ethereum started, with with all their own projects say is doing that now also so that's what i like to see like it's it's getting there 
Um, it's getting stronger. It's getting there. It's getting faster. And everybody wants to be on that hype train. Everyone wants to be the real winner. And that's what I find really exciting. If you ask me that say has that massive opportunity of being the next layer one blockchain, basically exactly as we wanted to see it, um, where we wanted to see it. So let's take a look at what it did in 2023. Okay. Mainnet fastest chain at, at 390 milliseconds TTF. 1.1 billion transactions, zero downtime. So uh, the thing with Solana is a lot of people were complaining about Solana because it had a huge, huge downtimes. Um, some days, even hours or days. And projects, when it was down like for an hour, they couldn't send anything. The exchanges, which had Solana, it was down and they had a big downtime anyway. Doesn't matter now. Uh, what's done is done. But that's where Say has that big, big potential um, in that sense, where I find a lot of excitement in say, because I do think, um, if you ask me, uh, right now, what say does best is it shows people that it can do, even with a small team, it can provide something and layer one blockchains. I love them. I love to talk about them. I love to, I love the community. I think the biggest issue with say right now is it doesn't have enough user base. So projects like, um, for example, uh, let's say, let me just think of a project here. So projects which come to mind in that sense would be to me something like Ethereum. So Ethereum really started slow and it slowly built up more and more to, to a massive, massive bull run. So it really takes time for these projects to start with. But once you get the ball rolling, once you get started, it's really easy to see those massive price hikes, massive bull runs. And that's where it really does win in that sense. So I am definitely excited. I hope you guys are also because there's going to be some cool factors inbound for 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 say basically. As again, as I said, the biggest issue right now is what it has about two thousand posts and six hundred k followers. So not bad, definitely not bad. But when you think of the big term sense, just think of the possible scenarios like. There is a big problem in crypto right now, and that is, well, there's not enough holders in that aspect. There's not enough people in crypto long term, and we need more holders from those ETF buys. So that would be awesome, like for everyone. I think everyone would be excited to see that. But that being said, let's focus on the key factors here. It's that same network is just stronger, faster than anyone else. And I have been blabbering about, say, they are probably going to be doing less less of development they're still going to be developing of course but more of expansion in that sense so that's where say wins because they're doing a launch pad here which is something that also other tokens did now to me this is a real opportunity a real exciting opportunity for for say and all these other factors this could be send the token absolutely parabolic but again i will keep you guys updated with more news if that's something you're interested in, you know what to do. Smash that like button. And until next time, peace everyone. This is my third video on Say. So be sure to smash that like button and show me some support because I'm working a lot of some awesome content right now for you guys. But what we are seeing is Say just growing, like just like Caspa. So I missed out on Caspa. I was sidelined. You got me. I was seeing a lot of price growth for Caspa. I should have sold my house and bought Caspa. But guess what? I'm still here making YouTube videos, not sipping on any yacht, not, you know, enjoying my life. Actually, I'm joking, guys. I enjoy my life a lot. I make cryptocurrency content every single day and I'm reviewing coins. I'm reviewing tokens I like. This is what I'm doing. Um, and I've been in crypto about three years now, so I know what's good and wrong. I know I saw the worst of crypto. I saw the best of crypto. I survived and I aged 20 years. So. If that's something you are interested in and want to be kept up to date with more content like this, be sure to smash that like button and stay in the loop on everything that's going with crypto right now. Uh, right now, what we're seeing for crypto in the long term sense is. I don't know, like say right now is a layer one blockchain, those layer two blockchains were really outperforming other cryptos. So does it have massive potential? Yeah, it has insane potential. And that's where I'm really, really excited um, in that sense. 
where say could really have that bull run really could have that um, price price increase um, but they are actually building their ecosystem if you look here they have a ton of great project double jump min scan fin wallet pi say scan all this awesome stuff that really keeps people in the loop now what does this exactly mean am i just blabbering no these are some great projects there's not many though there that's where save really does fall off it doesn't have as many projects as people expect and to me that's completely fine i'm not too worried about that like people are really worried that there's too little projects absolutely not there's completely enough projects and they're awesome projects if you ask me the issue is right now we're just not seeing those price updates for say why because well there's really no reason to see them there's really we really haven't seen any sort of recovery at the moment we haven't seen any sort of of big bull runs yet and that's completely fine right so to me it does seem like say is gonna have a potential a potential chance to go they have like mint scan so let me just check a random project here um and basically you can check other projects what the say is doing right now it's down five percent so they do have a lot of things that Ethereum has, but they want to do it faster. They want to do it simpler. And that's what I was saying. Once a project comes in, that its biggest concern is basically having people, you know, not stay in crypto too long. So most of the projects that have the, the biggest problem with crypto projects right now is they just don't stay around. Um, and they are really slow time to send a transaction fee. When you send a transaction fee to your friend, it takes like five hours on some, at some point. At some point it did with Bitcoin. Now with Ethereum, it only takes about five minutes. But when you're paying for stuff in a grocery shop, they're not gonna hold you hostage for five minutes to check if the transaction and the blockchain is fully verified. And that's what Say is trying to do. It's trying to fully solve that, trying to become a layer one utility. And that's where um, I really do look forward with these type of projects. That, crypto could really be growing in that short to long-term sense, uh, short to mid-term sense. Because uh, as I said, the biggest problem right now is obviously not having enough transaction, having too many, basically having big problem with transaction times. And Say can solve that. Say can definitely fix that exactly as people wanted. Um, and I'm definitely all up forward for it i'm definitely all up f um and really excited to see what they have in plan so they do have projects um again uh this is just a very early stage of say so they mostly spent building and showing an awesome product and in the future they're gonna really show what they have in store for everyone so i'm still not too sure what's gonna happen in that sense um but i am hopeful i'm definitely very hopeful um to see more price growth from them so who knows what will happen and I will keep you guys updated with more content like this because say right now early stages but does show potential and does solve the key problem we have right now and that is the low basically very very long transaction transactions and high gas fees. Um, again Solana is solving a lot of that, that but it's a layer two not layer one and that's where uh, basically say could come in and they fix all these uh, video games, fix the problem with, with, with all these transactions, payment types, all of that, basically. So that's what I'm really excited for. But if you guys want more content like this, smash that like button. I will keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace out, one.